Hello, welcome to this episode of Escaping the Echo Chamber. I'm your host, Aaron Comey. So it's day three, it's been an incredible week. Last night we had the Manhattan organizing, ICO organize, organizing meeting. Um, new chair, Ilya Schwartzberg, uh, vice chair, Rebecca Lau, secretary, Rob Power, treasurer, Mark Axon. Um, and so things are, things are gonna be great for the Manhattan chapter. Manhattan, it's not a chapter anymore. It's an ICO, it's a, it's a party, the Manhattan party. And uh, really exciting things are gonna be coming in the future. I'm sure of it, um, I'm sure they're gonna be doing a lot of great things, but it was, it was great. We met Quorum, that's always, especially me having been to some other ICO meetings, it's always a worry of, oh no, do we have quorum? Do we have enough people? Do we have people who meet the criteria? Because even if there's, there could be 50 people there, but do, does everybody meet the criteria needed to establish them as a, a voting member of the ICO um, or a founding member of the ICO? So that was successful. Um, and I, I'm glad, thank you. I, I thank everyone that came out. Um, to help make it a success. success. Um, so yeah, it was, it was really good. But I also wanted to talk about night one, the debate. Uh, so basically what I want to do is do a, this is going to be a non-spoiler review of the debate and of, well, it's going to be a non-spoiler review of the debate. I'm going to get into some details of the um, after party because there was a panel in the after party. I'll talk a little bit about that. Maybe I won't go all the way as deep into that um, because it is going to be available as a podcast too. So I'll probably just make this non-spoiler review of both the debate and the panel. I'll just be speaking very vague terms, um, general terms of the um, things that happened. But there were, so the debate, Dave Smith, Nicholas Sarwak, um, it was good. It was good. And if you see my video um, about, you know, Sawick versus Smith, the in in preparation for it coming, I talk about how um, based on watching their styles, I kind of had an idea of what was going to come um, and who was going to show up to the debate in terms of their interactions with each other. And sure enough, Dave Smith um, came with an incredible amount of emotion, a credible, incredible amount of passion, uh, because like I said, he has some, <laughs> it, it, it definitely seems like he has animus towards Nick Sarwak and decisions um, not Nick Sarwak has made, despite the fact that the, the, the candidates, presidential candidates, is not a decision of not Nick Sarwak's. It's not, it's not the chair's job to pick candidates. It's the delegates. The delegates are the ones that pick the candidates. But, um, yeah, so it, it was clear based on listening to him speak um, in the past about certain things, where, kind of where he was gonna come from. And so, yeah, it, it, he, he came uh, really fiery. Um, and Nick has a, a very, uh, like an even keeled demeanor um, when he comes in, in, in his debate performance and it was a very good debate. Um, there were some interesting points made, you know, um, and even with questions that were asked from, the, that they asked of each other, um, that the audience got to get in and ask, it was, it was really exciting. I think this was really one of my favorite Soho Forum debates. Um, yeah, because I had I had been to the one on climate change, and it was good. It was good, and there was a lot of good information. But so now, like this this debate isn't the topic can kind of determine how into the weeds of a of a matter things can get. Because sometimes a certain debates could get very philosophical. Some could get very technical. But this was. A revy, I think this is a debate that, like anybody, like you don't even need to know anything about, you can just 
sit down, watch this debate, and be entertained. It was, it was good. It was really good. There was um, zingers shot back and forth. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so I mean, really, this isn't even, just not even in terms of just the, the content of it, in terms of in the entertainment factor, this was, this was hella good. I mean, seriously. So I'm looking forward to it um, being released. Uh, I know, and the Soho Forum and Reason, they both will probably be putting it out soon. Um, and as soon as that happens, I'm going to be uh, doing the spoiler review. Plus, I'll be, and I'll, I'll do it like a notification, let everybody know. Boom, it's out. Um, and I'll leave links so that people can go check it out. And I'll do my spoiler review. Uh, like I might do my spoiler review next week, even if it doesn't come out. Uh, but I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll play it by ear. But yeah, it was it was definitely entertaining. Um, I mean, there's a lot of good points. There's inf this background provided on. I mean, seriously, there, there's. Um, so Dave Smith talking about like background of what's brought him to the party. Um, you know. Nick talking about the history of the party, um, and so that th this it was really entertaining. It was it was exciting, and um, hey, even like I said, even when the audience gets in on it, it's it becomes really really interesting. Just seeing where the different areas and and and, and mindsets that everyone's bringing to the conversation, um, but it was awesome that regardless, you've got different sides. Um, different opinions, different spectrums of libertarians all coming together um, and, and that was that was really cool. Uh, so fast forward to the the um, after party where you had the panel um, as I said okay so um, I'm gonna go from this side that's right to left. Larry Sharp, Mance Raider, Dave Smith, Michael Heiss, Maj Torre, Matt Welch, um, and like this, this, <laughs> there was, it was, it's the topic of the, of the panel was like how to conduct outreach, and there's some really good points made there, um, but like I said, I want to keep this a non-spoiler review so that people can listen to the podcast, because that's what they, um, Dave Smith did, he's, <clears throat> so they actually um, are recording the panel so it's going to be uh, uh, part of the Problems Podcast. Um, that's the, the podcast name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, once that drops, uh, if it hasn't dropped already, um, if I find out it has dropped, then I'll be doing a, a spoiler review quickly. Um, but once that drops, then I'll do a spoiler review of the panel. Because uh, there's a lot of, there was a lot of information there. There's a lot of interesting things said. But basically what you're, you're, what the panelists were ta discussing were was how to um, how to achieve how to achieve inroads with you know the general public, different communities, um, how to speak to them, how to how to really make an impact. And uh, there's like one part where. <laughs> And there's a really good line. I'm going to say the line. I'm not going to say who said it. I'm not going to say the context. But it's, you think we're the same, but we're not. And when, because I kind of, I saw that coming because I had seen um, this individual speak about certain topics before. So when that line gets dropped, it was like, it was a really interesting uh, dynamic. But yeah, there, there's some really good, um, really good things discuss um i mean at one point where it's discussed that it's you know someone's like we well, see that's the problem they able to point like at stuff that's happening right in the, the during this panel they say well see that that's why this problem's connecting and so i mean yeah it was it was a really entertaining um really informative really enlightening because even from this even from the, the the panel you can just walk away with like okay how does that apply to me? What can I be doing differently? How many things am I not doing or how many things uh, could I be doing better? It's just, um, 
it was really uh yeah it was a really great night um all around the, the debate the panel was awesome um and i look forward to doing the spoiler review uh so i, I could talk details about things specific things people said and um things that i agree with things i may disagree with but it was a, a really good um it was a great night um like i said just all of these libertarians and and there were a lot of libertarians from out of state clearly you know um heist um, mises caucus a lot of um libertarians from around the country and met uh people from all the way on the other side of the country uh, and and that was that was awesome um to have everybody come together um and yeah it was a great night it was a really great event and of course night two was good as i started with and today is night three um the debate watch party um so it's going to be a good time nice um nice rounding out of the of the week's activities and uh yeah uh, i'll be doing a recap on the debate and you know my th that will not be a spoiler non-spoiler because it's going to be on tv so everybody has the opportunity to watch it uh and you have the opportunity to watch that because it'll be i guess available um through whatever medium contemporaneously and and then i can just put my video out you know talking about high points and low points of the debate while um so that people can watch people can watch the debate and then watch the, the video that i'm going to do um if they if they don't want to be spoiled or if they just want to recap um and then to, to look at it um uh, for themselves it's up to them but yeah it's uh yeah today's night three just it's been a really great week i'm having fun i'm having a blast uh and Thank you for checking this episode out. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, and um, I'll see you next time.